What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a lot of things, defeated a lot of people, met a lot of people we don't like, and well, now here we are back in Motostoke, and well, we're gonna go back to the hotel because we need a rest up. We got a gym battle. We really do, and it has been a, it's, well, it hasn't been quite a while, guys. I mean, two episodes ago, I think we won. Probably. I don't know. But would you look at that? Well, hello there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. Uh, Challenger Draven, right? I'll give it. You're all even this late, huh? Hmm. Hey, help me with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready to for the next leg of the gym challenge. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. Wicked. Got some fight in you, huh? Oh wow, and well, she's got her fantastic friends uh, of uh, Team uh, Team Yell right here, and she doesn't really seem like the the well, how should I put it? She doesn't really seem like the leader type. It's more of like you know they're her fans rather than just uh, you know they're her, her thing or her 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 minions or all that all that stuff. As you can see, they're right there just rooting for her. So here we are battling her, and we're gonna go straight for a flame charge. That way we can actually beat this guy right here. So there we go, flame charge for the win. Krogunk has been defeated. Look at that, okay, so there we go. Get some more experience points. And she's about to come out with a Scraggy. And uh, let's see, do we have anybody that can beat Scraggy? Yeah, yeah, we do. We have a fighting type move. Believe it or not, Scraggy is a fighting type Pokemon, but it's also a dark type. And, well, fighting type moves actually are super effective against these guys. So, there we go. Bam. There's one. And there's another one. But guess what? This Scraggy just continues to stay right there. So, here comes a headbutt attack. And that right there takes a quite a few ma well, quite a few HP points right there. So, here we go again double kick for the win and just like that we have defeated this guy and well more experience points Bex is the first one to make it to level 30 and well let's go ahead and switch out quick attack for the headbutt attack right here eventually I'm gonna have to teach this Pokemon some like badass moves and stuff and well here she's gonna be coming out with a more Pico and more Pico here is a it's an odd fellow an odd fellow of a Pokemon because it has two forms as you know happy form or full mode and then a hangry mode which I guess increases its attack and all that stuff and well here she are here she is ready to just go and well here comes more Pico part of the I guess Pikachu line or all all that stuff so let's go straight for a seed bomb and Thunderjock hitting us first. That doesn't really do much, but here comes a Seed Bomb. And that hits more Pico pretty good. And that changes its form to Hangry Mode. That can't be good. So let's go straight for a Headbutt. See if that actually works right here. And Thundershock gets an extra boost right there. That it paralyzes us. Holy crud. Okay, here we go. Headbutt. And that nearly takes out more Pico. And it's going back to its full mode right here. Holy crud. Okay, so... I, I, I don't get it. I, I really don't. I really don't get that. But yes, she is healing up her Pokemon. And this one is going to be a battle. And well, here comes a hangry mode again. So let's go. You know what? We're going to have to go with. Let's go with Bone Saw right here. Since it is a dragon type Pokemon, electric type attacks are not going to be that, that effective. So here we go. Bone Saw ready to go. Here comes Thundershock. And that right there hits us. Doesn't paralyze us, thankfully. And, well, let's go straight for a thunder or a dragon rage attack or a dragon claw attack. And come on. Let's go. Dragon claw. Good gravy. How in the heck? Oh my god. This is annoying. This is getting really annoying. This more Pico is like. Oh my god. Here comes a bite attack. And that takes out Bone Saw. Holy crud. Okay, so it looks like to me we're going to have to go with Bex. We're going to have to finish this Pokemon off. Wow, this Pokemon is a feisty one. Okay, so let's go straight for a Flame Wheel attack or Flame Charge attack. And there we go. We hit it pretty hard. Get it, get it a speed boost. And wow, look at that. It is hitting us hard. This Pokemon right here 
e it's not going down easily. So here we go, flame charge again. And there we go, more Pico has been defeated. I kinda wanna capture more Pico now, holy crud. And there we go, three people gain experience points and get levels, that's good. And we have defeated Marnie, and she's like, you beat me! Guess you must uh, must not be too bad after all, huh? Yes, we're not that bad, uh-uh. Okay, guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. Hurrah! Rah rah, I should say. Okay, so we're getting some rest. We're healing up. Yes, we're feeling fan friggin tastic. And well, let's see what we got. There is that statue. The next morning, right here on Dragon Ball Z. Morning, Draven. Hmm. That friend of yours already went off to the challenge the gym. Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up getting a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed, it's not a big deal. And there we go, we get ourselves a lead card from uh, Kabu. Take this too, a little something for our battle yesterday. And yes, we get some burn heals. This girl is, uh, yeah, she's amazing. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kabu chap, right? Why not? Why don't you get over to the Motorstoke uh, Stadium and get that gym badge already? Rah rah! Oh, rah rah! Bitch, you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire. Okay, so I already talked to her. Okay, so yes, we're gonna go to the gym badge right here. So before we do anything, guys, I gotta do something really, really quick. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so I'm back. Yes, I had to deal with a phone call right here But now we are finally gonna go into Motostoke and uh, the Motostoke gym and Actually take on the gym leader himself now. This is like a few episodes in the making and yes, of course He has to be there. Oh my god <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him uh, So here's Hop and he's like slow moving aren't you Draven? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire is just what you would expect. Nearly burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, I was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Draven. I bet you can beat the man of fire too. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I can't stand that kid. But anywho, uh, let's see. Uh, I think I've already gotten the items right here. So the man of fire. The man of fire, of course. Has some pretty interesting Pokemon, and he has a. He also has a pretty interesting puzzle to go uh, go with it too. Believe it or not, guys, this is the very first gym in history of Pokemon that you can actually capture a Pokemon within the gym. That that right there is amazing in itself. So let's go right ahead and uh, you know register and get ready to go right here. See see what we can actually do now. One of these Pokemon that you can actually capture is a. Uh, what was it, Baconator? Uh, Scor uh, Skelopede or Scorchipede or something like that? We'll figure it out, guys. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get this Fire Badge right here. Look at that, and wow. So it's not that big, there's a lot of grass, and yeah. The, the deal is this, guys. If you want to capture the Pokemon, you have to make sure that your your partner faints and all that stuff. So here it is. The gym mission of uh, the gym mission for the Fire Gym is this: catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in the battles. Think about what your opponents might do. They might try and take the best action and rack, rack up the points. So that's basically the, th the same thing, guys. It's going to be a partner battle. And the best thing you can do is, well, make their Pokemon faint first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Michelangelo, and I'm going to try and uh, beat up on some people right here. Let's see. So here we are going up against a, uh, holy crud, a Litwick, and we got two Pokemon trainers right here. Now, as you can see, for her, she's going to try and beat the Pokemon, and what you need to do is you need to prevent that from happening. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to hit the Sizzlipede. So here we go, Waterfall, that makes Sizzlipede faint. 
she won't be able to do anything now to this uh, to this Litwick. And here comes a hex attack. So that right there, that right there is no is no biggie, okay? And she's gonna be coming out with a sandalit. So yeah, she's gonna yeah she's gonna try her hardest to try and uh, make everybody f or make this Pokemon faint or try and capture it. So what's gonna happen is she's gonna hit this Pokemon not that hard, but I'm gonna hit it with a waterfall. That way, all her Pokemon faint, and I get the chance to capture some of the Pokemon right here. And well, thankfully we got the Shell Bell, and well, there comes a Fire Spin. I'm, I know I'm taking some damage, but it's it's all right by me. It is all right because you know what? I got myself a Water type Pokemon, Water and uh, Water and Rock type. So let's go ahead and throw a tat or a Dust Ball at this Pokemon. So there we go. One, two, three, and there it is. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. This is how you do it. So let's see, we defeated a Pokemon twice, so that's two points plus three, so we, that gives us five, I think, I don't know. So here is Litwick, the Candle Pokemon, both Ghost and Fire type Pokemon. The flame on its head keeps its body slightly warm. This Pokemon takes lost children by the hand to guide them to the spirit world. Holy crud, you don't want to mess with this Pokemon. Let's go ahead and put it into the box. Now, after defeating this, we claim two points. And, well, that's one. You can only get one Pokemon on each one of these. So, let's go right here. And we're going to be going up against a, a Vulpix. So, again, these trainers are going to try and make a faint. Make it do something. And, but, uh, luckily for us, it, this guy has himself a Roly Coley. So, this is going to be easy. Let's go straight for... A Roly Coley attack right here. Michelangelo hit it, and there goes Roly Coley. So no more Roly Coley. Yes, we're we're bad. Like we're teaming up against this guy. We're teaming up with this guy to capture this Pokemon. But really, yeah. And yeah, this this Pokemon right here is trying to sabotage us. Come on, don't be don't be like that. So here comes a Growlithe. And well, let's see. Let's go straight for a waterfall right here. Let's go hit Growlithe, and come on, come on. Damn it, okay. So, here comes another Confuse Ray, and this and this Growlithe right here is gonna be nice and, uh, well, nice and confused. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and, well, we're both getting hit by the Confusion, so let's go ahead and hit this, uh, this, yeah, we snapped out of the, well, we snapped out of the Confusion and hit this Growlithe right here. So there you go, guys. Growlithe has been defeated. We're getting a little bit more HP back thanks to the Shell Bell. And here comes a Spite attack. This will actually lower our PP just a little bit from the move we just used. And, well, let's go right ahead and start throwing a Pokeball at this Pokemon. I'm going to throw a Dust Ball. I don't know why. As you can see, it broke free. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue co uh, par or confusing us. Uh, so. Yeah, that right there is uh, that right there is something. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's see, let's see, let's go. Not a nest ball, but let's go straight for not these Pokeballs. Let's go for you know what? Wait, let's go for a repeat ball because I think I did capture a a uh, a Volpix out in the wild area. One. Two, come on, three, and yes, throwing out that peace sign. So that's another two points right there for us. Please give me my two points. And just like that, we're getting experience points. And yes, it's uh, another Volpix that we captured right here. So let's see, that's another two points. One more for victory. And this one right here, you're going to be able to find yourself a Sizzlepede or Skullipede or what is it called? A Sizzlepede, yes. And as many of you guys already know, I captured this Pokemon in Pokemon Shield. And it became a very, very good Pokemon at the very end. It's actually one of my favorite bug type Pokemon, to be quite honest. So, Sandalit right here is going to try and make us flinch. Oh my god, okay. Nice move right there. So, yeah, they, they, they're just starting to get the GIF right here. Sandalit is making us uh, lose our accuracy and well just like that we defeat Sandalit. so this chick right here already gets the idea she, she's like no we're gonna screw you over right here and well here comes a bite attack that is a very harsh bite attack from a little bug 
and we're gonna capture this guy let's go straight for a nest ball right here or a net ball I should say so here we go net ball go stay in the ball come on stay in the ball stay in the ball throwing out that peace sign Whew, this is the reason why I have trust issues guys because uh, those three things and well there we go get experience points and well here we have a new Pokemon Sizzlipede as you can see the radiator Pokemon both fire and bug type the first of its kind it stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat the yellow sections of its body get particularly hot we are gonna nickname this guy Baconator because it kind of looks like you know bacon and all that stuff so Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, Baconator. That's one. That's a Pokemon that I do remember. So here we go. Bacon, Bacon, Baconator. There we go. Nador. There we go. So here it is, Baconator, and we're gonna send it to the PC. We're gonna have it stored up, and well, after doing that, we have cleared the mission. That's six points in all, and clear the leader's uh, Kabu Jin mission like that. You positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Okay. So, first is first, guys. Let's see. We got to heal up our Pokemon, and I guess the, the, person, the person in the spotlight is Michelangelo right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this. So I'll be right back. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. Had to go to the restroom. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of breaks right here, man. I'm getting hydrated. Okay, so here we are in the fire gym, and we're gonna be taking on Kobu, Kabu, Kabu, and look at this. It's all red. And the last time we were in here, it was when we, when we were, uh, yeah. <laughs> look at him. Look at this guy. Oh, he's ready to go. Oh, he looks like he's played a few uh, soccer games in his day. But like I was saying, guys, the last time we were here was when we were getting introduced as a uh, as a challenger, a gym challenger. And, well, this right here is pretty big because now we're going up against the fire trainer. And the, he happens to be the one that usually cuts down the gym challengers uh, by by a, by a lot. So right here, this is a pretty big thing. So welcome. I'm Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you uh, that you are here means that you bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Ness's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Yeah, this guy's very, very, uh, he's very humble and all that stuff. And I, yeah, he runs like he, if he played soccer and stuff. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number three, and it's against gym leader Kabu, the fire type gym leader. And well, look at him. He's throwing out his nine tails. Holy crud. He's ready to go right here. And well, we're coming out with the, yes, we're coming out with the man, the myth, the legend right here, Michelangelo. And uh, luckily for us, it has both resistances to uh, to uh, fire type Pokemon. The only messed up part is that yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this burns. If you guys don't know, if you get burned, it cuts your attack in half. And look at that. The, what what could have been a finishing uh, touch right here, it just cuts the Pokemon's attack in half. So here we go. Let's go. Let's get uh let's get a let's get a uh, rock tomb right here. And we evade the fire spin and nearly beat Ninetales. And with that, it lowers its speed. Shell Bell heals us up just a little bit. We get burned. Holy crud. All right, so let's go with a bite attack because, well, yeah, we all love the bite attack. And bam, bite attack does its thing. Ninetales has been defeated. And, well, we're gonna get healed. We're gonna get burned. We're gonna get experience points. Shadow Blade grows to level 26. And, well, let's see. Arcanine is coming out. This is a fast Pokemon. A very, very fast Pokemon. A very majestic Pokemon. I love looking at this guy right here. And, well, it's Intimidate. He's cutting our attack a little bit more in half. So, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here because, yeah. That that whole what you call it that whole burn is actually messes, messing us up. So I'd rather have my my attack cut 
to intimidate rather than to burn and all that crud. So here we go, bite attack. Not really gonna work because, well, we are a rock type Pokemon. Let's go straight for a waterfall attack. And here comes a Will-O-Wisp. This guy is trying to burn us every friggin' time. Maybe I should have prepared just a little bit better with that. So here we go, waterfall attack. And that right there, yeah, okay, so that right there kind of messes up uh, a little bit. So we kind of have to get it with the Rock Tomb so it can lower its speed right here. Because, yeah, Arcanine is a very, very fast Pokemon. So here we go. Bite attack. Yeah, we're, be we're just being stubborn right here. So here we go. Rock Tomb attack. This will hit this Pokemon, and it will lower its speed just by a little bit. And we'll heal up, and well, we'll get hurt again. So... That's also pretty good right there. So let's go right ahead and hit one more Rock Tomb on this Pokemon. So here goes Rock Tomb, hopefully for the win. Nope. And it's lowering its speed just a little bit more. So we kind of have, oh wow. Okay, so it's sharpening up its speed. So to me, it looks like it's going to be a little faster than us. Just a small, just a tad bit. So here we go, Rock Tomb again. And yes, Arcanine is indeed faster than us right now. So here we go, Rock Tomb Attack, and that right there. Holy crud, okay. So we're sorta of kind of in a in a little bit of a issue right here, because we don't have a Yeah, okay, so we do have this. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. There we go. And let's see. Bite attack right here. I think the best thing we can do is switch out our Pokemon. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and... You know what, let's go ahead and use Bonesaw. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Bonesaw since it is a Dragon-type Pokemon. So there we go. And well, let's see. Let's see what you can do right here. So he's gonna be going for a bite. Now I know I'm, I'm sacrificing bones all right here. It sucks, but it is to heal my Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and get a burn heal off. So there we go, Michelangelo is healed up. And, well, let's see, here comes a Will-O-Wisp. Yes, this right here is a, uh, yeah, this right here is, is, is somewhat of a strategic thing for, burnt, uh, for fire type trainers right here. So let's go right ahead and continue on the battle right here. Let's go straight for a Dragon Claw and see what it can do right here. So Bite Attack. Yeah, you would think, oh wow, come on. So we're just gonna take another hit. Jeebus, Crimini, Bone Saw. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, Bone Saw is not liking this right now. So let's go back to Michelangelo and yeah, okay, so Michelangelo, you are now fast enough, but this guy's gonna throw a, I know he's gonna throw a Will-O-Wisp on us. As you can see, he likes to be an asshole like that. And just like that, we're burned again. So here we go, waterfall attack. And that defeats Arcanine, so how does it feel to fail Arcanine? That's right, and we're getting healed up just a tad bit and losing that. Look at that, Michelangelo grows to level 27. Yes, we're getting burnt. And, well, Santa Scorch is coming out. Let's go right ahead and throw in a little bit of a curveball right here, guys. Let's go with Shadow Blade. Now, Santa Scorch is still a bug type Pokemon, meaning it still has a weakness to flying type Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and see what happens. All right, light the fire in your mind moving, Kabu. There's still a path to victory. Okay, so here comes Santa Scorch, the evolutionary Pokemon, and well, we got an unnerve, and let's go straight for a Dynamax and Max Airstream right here. First time we're actually doing this for uh, for for uh, Overnight right here, and well, let's go right ahead and make this Pokemon grow, 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 and just like that. We got a big, big, big black chicken right here. Big old black chicken, killer chicken. And, well, let's see what Kabu does. Bright, burn bright, set to scorch, unless Gigantamax change your, change in, uh, your, your form and whatever. 
Okay, so he's growing his Pokemon right here. His eyes got... Wow, it got all flamey and all that crud. And, well, that's new right there. Holy crud. Okay, so that is a big old snaky Pokemon right there. Looks like a dragon. Kind of looks like a dragon. Who will hit first? Shadow Blade with a max Airstream. That takes half of its, half its HP right there. And that right there will increase its speed by a little bit. And, oh wow, he's still, like, he... <laughs> He's got his speeches right here. So here comes a G-Max Inferno. That right there is a Gigantic Max move. And holy crud. Don't tell me we got, oh yeah, okay. So here we go, Max Airstream. Now Gigantamax Gigant forms are, are very special. And look at that, we defeated Santa Scorch right there. Um, there's only a handful of Pokemon that actually have Gigantamax. One of which, is, or two of which we have, Eevee and Pikachu. And just like that, we grow levels again. And bam. Look at that, guys. We have defeated Leader Kabu. And he's like, no! Great Pokemon and great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Well, there it is, guys. We have won our third badge. And he's like, I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge. And yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent uh, surpasses my man, many years of experience. I still have much to learn. Man, you gotta love the way how he runs, and he looks like he's still in shape. I know how. I now know, or I know now that you, you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could have battled you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof uh, of uh, that you defeated me. Okay. All right. So there it is. We're shaking hands, and there it is, guys. Our third badge, the fire badge. Holy crud, okay. So now we can capture Pokemon up to level 35. And thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala region's culture. And it's young trainers who are responsible for keeping the culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also become something better. We adults will be the pillars uh, for you to build on. That is so true, very, very true. And seriously, Hop, you have to ruin my moment by just being there. Good gravy. Draven! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought uh, would be the ones. But still, that match had me right on the edge of my seat. Challenger Draven. I see that you've done a fine job collecting gym badges from grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate the uh, what you accomplished here today. And we get ourselves the TM38 Will-O-Wisp, a very good move that I, I'm thinking of using. So the shooter uses a Sinister Flame at the target to inflict a burn. And take one of our uniforms. It's the uh, same design as Kabu himself wears. And just like that, guys, we get our fire uniform. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against gyms that await you starting at the in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city, and then make your way to Hammerlock. With all those badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we sh uh, we would be alright even against the fierce Pokemon that we find deep in the wild area. Let's go find ourselves! Okay, whatever. Wh whatever you say, homeboy. Um, okay, so... Oh my god. Oh my god, what an adventure. And it it's always the first three badges, guys, here in the Gala region. And it it's just such a challenge. So, after defeating the third gym leader, guys, we are now enabled to go deeper into the wild area. And I mean, we're going deep, deep. Hop here is like, hurry up, Draven! So, before we go, he's like, huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all this way to see us off? Oh, I bet I can already tell that I'm, one, I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? No, you're just going to be some kid that, you know... Thinks he's a champion. There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up the gym challenge altogether. So I make it my point. I make it a point to see off any trainers who were able to defeat me. And well, would you look at that? Mm, 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 mm. Nessa, you are a beauty. Whew, we made it! Thank goodness for the flying taxis. Driven, hop! Congratulations! It's a pretty amazing that you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers were able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see him up as a way of sh showing our support. 
So, allow me to send you off with a proper sportly chant. Okay, what's the chant? Hustle, hustle, hop. You can do it. You can do it, Draven. The gym leaders will you will face ahead are tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. And thanks, you all. We're gonna we're gonna keep winning. We got what it we got to if we all want to face off against the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Draven. Let's head to Hammerlock. And just like that, we're walking away to the next thing, and that is Hammerlock, guys. Now, wow, this is gonna be this is gonna be some kind of a, an adventure right here. Well, here we are in the wild area again. Hello again, wild area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Draven, Hammerlock is uh is up that way. Got it? So all we have to do now is we have to go straight to where that bridge is. And yeah, you could certainly rush through there there without a single detour. But now that you now that I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page of my tale of my of, the le of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it to through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his uh, rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems it's it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion this world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to to you insulting him. <laughs> How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Draven to a battle in Gallon Mine number two and lost to him there, and I'm his greatest rival. No, you're not. In other words, there's no way you're you're beating me. All this battle or all this prattle about Draven and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? He really doesn't. <laughs> I'll show you wall I'll show you this Wally my real skills in the battle. See you later, Draven. Let's meet up at Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Okay. Alright. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, whatever. I will not pray for you, but... Okay, may may Arceus not be with you. Okay. So, here it is, guys. We're in the wild area. And, uh, well, a lot has changed now because we have three badges. We are enabled to capture better Pokemon. Uh, I think we're enabled to, ca to get more Watts. And on top of that... We're able to get better experience, uh, rare candies. So, for the time being right now, I am going to be grinding. Literally grinding like I did with uh, the, the very beginning right here in the wild area. I'm going to be capturing some Pokemon. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm going to be just organizing everything. Hell, you might even see a few, a few of my Pokemon get stronger and stronger as we go on before the next episode. So... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot of work off screen right here, guys. So thank you guys again for watching. I will be back in another episode as we get to Hammerlock. Um, yeah, hit the subscribe button, the notifications button, and yes, if you guys want to make a small donation here to this channel, links down there in the description below. So I will see you guys in the next episode as we come out stronger, buffer, and uh, everything else in between. See you guys. Oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna laugh at Wally too. So just be ready for that one right there. See you guys.